Hello, I hope everybody's doing great. I just wanna come on here quickly and show you swatches of my polished potion. They kinda got lost in the sauce, so to speak. I did have a few um, orders coming in from pre-order sites. As you know, I have unboxed quite a few of them here with you. Um, but these polishes are amazing. So a little while back, she was doing a restock of some of her older polishes. So I picked up five and I was so shocked at the formulas. I don't feel like I'm hearing a whole lot of potion polish, but for those of you who like refuse to do a third uh, coat or just don't want to do a third coat, these polishes, at least the ones that I got were amazing. So I did not want to forget to share you, share these with you guys. Okay. Let's get to the swatches and then I'll talk more about the formulas at the end of the video. The first one is Wild Coastline. It's ultra pale blue with red, orange, gold shifting chrome flakes and delicate hollow flakes. Okay, so this one I really was happy with. I bought a couple of these off-white type of colors and it was, it was like not contrasting good enough with my skin. Like I think I got one from KB Shimmer that was a uh, pale gray, but it just wasn't popping off my skin very well. This one was, it looks like a pale blue gray and I was really happy with how this looked next to my skin. This took only two coats. I did have to float both coats on. I found that when I was just um, swiping it like regular without thinking, I was swiping some of the flakes right off. But once I realized that I just, was more careful with my placement, floated both coats on, completely even and opaque in just two coats. For the removal for this one though, these flakes did not wanna come off. I don't often have this issue because I do um, do the soak off method and normally flakes just stick to the cotton and I swipe them right off. These flakes wanted to stick to my skin. They wanted to stick like under my nail bed. So, they weren't fun to remove, but I was ultra happy with this polish as far as the look and the formula was not bad at all. It's just, I've not often have that issue when it comes to flakes. It's usually like glitter. You have to worry about brushing it right off. But once you realize that that's the case, you know, the brush is ultra great. I'll talk about that at the end. The brush is amazing. So it was really easy to work with. You just had to realize what was happening. <laughs> the next one is Cabin by the Lake. It's a muted teal with shifting peachy, red, bronze, copper, shimmer, and a healthy dose of glinting hollow flakes. Now, I don't know what glinting hollow flakes are, <laughs> but this was the first polish I swatched from this order, well, from Polish Potion, period, and it blew my socks off. Let me tell you, for those of you who wear their polish in one coat, this is 100% gonna do that for you. As far as other um, formulas I can compare this to is painted polish. A lot of their formulas are one coat. You know, I would never wear a polish in one coat, <clears throat> but you can. It's com This was completely even, completely opaque in one coat. I always do two coats no matter what. I use that second coat to really perfect the cuticle line and I do have rounded nails. So I make sure I get like deep into that ridge. So I just use my second coat to really perfect the look as much as I can. But if you're gonna, if you wear a polish in one coat, this is definitely your brand, at least from the polishes that I got. <laughs> This one is In an Ancient Wood. It's a rich teal bursting with sparkling holographic effect and highlighted with a peach, bronze, copper, aurora shimmer. So this one is another one coater. I definitely did two coats, but you, this is definitely completely even, opaque, everything in one coat. I did flood my middle finger and it still cleaned up well, which is shocking because this is a very pigmented blue polish. I can't believe how well it cleaned up. In the photo, I did do 
two coats of this, and then of course my shiny top coat on all of them. All right, this one is Autumn Drive. It's a deepened sky blue with a gorgeous shifting shimmer that travels between rosy pink, warm bronze, copper, and even a little gold and green. This one is so beautiful. I wanna wear it right now. And this is just a repeat of all the other ones so far. This could be a one coat for sure, but I did it in two. Super, super pigmented, pigmented and so easy to work with. The last one is Forest Trail. It's a deep forest green jelly packed with a sparkling gold holographic glitter flakes. So this one is my only one, like pretty much the other ones so far had the same formula. This one's a jelly polish. This one was definitely patchy in one coat. I would say this is not a one coater for anybody, but it's jelly. It got completely, completely opaque in that second coat. It went on really easy. This is not a polish I'm gonna be wearing anytime soon, but when I seen swatches of it, I had to throw this on my first order and I absolutely love it. Okay, my overall first impression, amazing. So many amazing things. So out of the five polishes, I did get three polishes that were extremely pigmented blue, which is a stainer for sure. And only one of these. So none of these like stained my nails, but in an ancient wood. So I did point out, um, important fact that I did flood my cuticle with this one and I was able to get it completely clean. And sometimes when you flood your cuticle with the ultra pigmented color, it's hard to clean up your cuticles. So I had no issues with this one, but when I was removing it, um, like completely removing it, it did leave some blue behind on my actual nail bed. It wasn't that big of a deal, but it did happen, but only on this one. So, which is, Sorry, I'm trying to show you, which is so shocking that every single one of these was a one coater. So for them to be that pigmented and not stain my nails is crazy. I'm really, um, as soon as I started, let me show you. As soon as I started painting my nails, I'm like, where, where is all the hype for this brand? I mean, I hear people talking about it, but you know, there's those brands that are just like super, super hyped up and everybody's in love with. And I know this is only my first order <laughs> and I'm like, you know, saying they're the, the greatest thing that ever existed, but they're great. I love this lid here. So this is the same as, um, only a couple others. So Cuticulous has the same lid. Um, painted polish has the same lid, but it's a squared lid and it's a little bit textured. That little squared off part makes it so easy to open your bottles. It's not a huge detail, but when I forget to open up like, you know, cause you got your base coat, your color, sometimes you got a glitter grabber, your top coat, and every once in a while, one of those bottles don't want to open and your nails are wet. So I don't have that issue with these types of tops, but like the thing, if you know me, you know I love a paddle brush, but it's like one of the most perfect paddle brushes I have ever used. But I am, I do love a skinny paddle brush. You know, I have, let me show you. I do have these curved nails. So when it's too fluffy, it's hard to get it into the crevices of my nails. A flat paddle brush like this falls straight into my um, crevices. That's such a weird word. But, and so when it's, a color is this pigmented and you have that perfect brush and it just gives you that perfect application, that's when I feel like it's possible to wear your nail polish in one coat because it goes completely even. Um, even though I don't wear my polish in one coat, it still makes that second coat, you don't have to worry about getting coverage on the second coat. For me, I just worry about perfecting my lines as much as I can, like I said, um, really grabbing any little pieces that I missed, capping off the tip. Anyways, these polishes were a pleasure to work with. I absolutely love them. Now, I didn't get... <laughs> I, I'm like obsessed with blues right now. Every time I place the order, I'm like, 
more blues, more blues. So I did not get a good array of colors here. So even though this one looks gray, it is, you know, a pale blue. This one's green and then all like slightly different blues here, but I'm ultra happy with everything I got and I definitely will be placing another order from them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.